Possible record-breaking heat this week has folks really trying to cool down any way they can. In Austin, that means trying out an innovative technology that actually cools down pavement. Betty Cross reports. When a road in Austin gets resurfaced, the new layer of asphalt is deep black. It's a durable material, but the dark color absorbs more sunlight and then radiates it back. This new asphalt being laid on Barton Springs Road today will typically be 10 to 20 degrees hotter than concrete and other light colored paving materials. This section of road has a little bit a lighter color. City engineer Angela Johnson says Austin is testing how much of a difference color and cool pavement technology can make on an Austin street. That stretch of road um, was treated with a so-called pavement, uh, cool pavement, which is uh, water-based emulsion and uh, with addition of titanium dioxide. Mean Artist Drive in South Austin got sprayed with the light colored seal that reflects sunlight last fall. Since then, the University of Texas has done a series of tests to find out how effectively it reduces temperatures. On an average, it could be anywhere from 2 to 5 to 10 degrees, depending on the conditions. UT professor Dev Niogi says it's enough of a difference to make a city more livable. Instead of the heat getting absorbed, it is reflected back. And if it is reflected, then it is not absorbed. If it is not absorbed, our temperatures don't rise. 127. Today, we asked the city engineer to check the temperature of the treated asphalt with the thermometer we provided. In sunlight, is it 127? Definitely hot, but asphalt routinely reaches temperatures around 140 degrees on a day like today. So Austin right now is testing about one mile of pavement. The city says an additional 10 miles will be added to the pilot project later this summer. That's pretty cool. Now you said this is happening where else in Phoenix? Phoenix. Phoenix is trying something uh, else as well, but okay. it's with a different colored pavement. Oh. So it really takes, you know, different colors absorb heat at different rates. Uh -huh. So it's kind of taking that approach to it. Um, it's really interesting what they're doing in Austin, though, uh, because the sun does not directly warm the air. It actually warms the ground and the ground is what's warming right, the air. Right, heat rises. Yeah, heat rises, Oof. exactly. So it'll be really interesting to see. It, it may help out with the urban heat island effect. So we'll I'm, see I, what happens. We'll see what happens. Anything to help at this point, <laughs> Cleo? Yeah.